What is up? We just got done watching the Cardinals and Packers game. Man, that was a heck of an ending. Um, welcome to Speech to Sports. This is Bert. I'm joined by Tay. Tay, what did you make of this game? The Cardinals streak is snapped. It is listen, over. It is done. Listen, listen. Aaron Rodgers, primetime. You do not put your money against this man, primetime. Does not matter who is on the field with this man. He will make it work. He he's he's just so talented. Gr- granted, he didn't have a crazy game tonight, but the, the fact that he was he didn't throw any interceptions, he threw two touchdowns, and he almost threw for two hundred yards. But I mean, the fact that the offense was still so effective, missing their top three receivers. I mean, what 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 can this man not do? Granted, Aaron Jones, granted Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon carried the weight. They rushed for combined one hundred fifty one yards, and AJ Dillon pretty much outplayed. Aaron Jones tonight with 16 carries and 78 yards, averaging almost five yards a carry. Mm-hmm. But I mean, when when the offense is flowing like that, it, it's it's more so because they're afraid of the threat of Aaron Rodgers. Yep. They, they they're not able to play the run so much because they know Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to make it work with anybody lined up outside a receiver. I mean, you saw him; he's giving the ball to St. Brown, who hasn't really even done anything since he's been there since they drafted him. And then Jawan Winfrey, talking about the second year, second year, second year guy to Colorado. Uh, Aaron Rodgers put his full trust in him. He just and in, in, in these tough situations, he's getting the ball on third downs, third and short. They, they want a quick dump off pass. Jawan Murphy's getting the ball. He's getting the first down. So, I mean, you you see the trust is there. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers is capable to get the job done with anybody. Arizona, I'm disappointed. I thought you guys were way better than this, but I mean, I, I guess this this comes to show they this is the first time playing you know a, a great offense. I would say yep. with a, an elite quarterback. And I mean, it just, they weren't able to get the job done. Yeah, this was crazy. I mean, they lost Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, and uh, Martez uh, Valdez Scantling. They lost all of them before this game. Uh, two of them right before, one was on IR. And then Tunyon goes down in the middle of the game. So he yeah. loses another weapon. I mean, he was down four receiving options. And he was throwing the guys that, like, you read their names, you're like, who is this? Who is this? <laughs> like, who is this guy? You don't even you know who this is. Yeah, like, like, like for example, Juwan Winfrey, like, he's the he like, currently in fantasy. Do you know where he's ranked? The number seven hundred and seventy seventh wide receiver on the season. <laughs> like, hey, if anybody picked him up, you got some points tonight. I promise you, you did <laughs> six points. <laughs> yeah, but still, like, like that's that, that's the guys who he was throwing to. Uh, but not just that. Yeah, like you're right. Aaron Jones going great. Uh, was doing great. I want to talk about the Cardinals. They put up a good fight. I, I can't lie. I mean, Kyler yeah, they, Murray, did. they definitely did. They definitely did. Kyler Murray had a really – he had an off game. He had a really bad game today. Um, Chase Edmonds was actually probably the biggest bright spot of their team. Him and James Conner, that duo was really, really solid. Yeah. I, Hopkins is playing hurt. I can't blame him for only having two catches. Uh, Christian Kirk did his thing. You know, he does – he gets – scrappy yards here and there aj green we'll talk about him in a little bit <laughs> and zach Ertz looked good he looked good in his uh was i want to his... say i want to say zach Ertz looks like a new man in yeah. arizona like this looks like this looks like vintage zach Ertz. this looks like nothing was wrong in philly and he just wanted to get out of there type thing yeah it, it seems like he pulled a james harden in houston where with philly that, that seems like he actually happened. played except yeah if he yeah. actually played and he didn't wear a fat suit but you know <laughs> yeah, Zach Ertz is he, he's gonna be really nice for this team uh if he continues to to go at this rate. Yeah. Uh and then Rondale Moore, they didn't use him that much. But okay, l- l- let's loop back around to Kyler Murray and what should be a horribly porous Green Bay defense. The, the Packers defense on paper is not good. They're missing a lot of players. They're very oh, beat yeah. up. They're very hurt. But for some reason, Kyler Murray couldn't do it against them. He threw two picks against them. One of them, late in the game, I, it was a miscommunication. You you played football, and you know more football yeah. than I do. I'm willing to admit this. I, I, I'm, I'm, gl- I'm going I'm to say, say this is definitely AJ Green. Kyler yeah. Murray's looking for him to be in that spot. It's to, I mean, he's trying to win the game. Mm-hmm. AJ Green, what are you doing? Where are you at? Where where are you? How how are you this? How are you were a veteran in the NFL? I was lost. And you just and it's just like it's not. It wasn't. It didn't even seem like it was a crazy like concept. It seemed like it was just a simple concept. And he's just not there. He's just running the completely wrong route. I don't understand. 
I saw somebody say that maybe he thought they were going to run the ball and it kind of looked like it because he went and then just stopped and then slowly turned around. Like he wasn't even expecting a ball to be thrown in his direction or thrown in the air. So maybe that was a miscommunication. I, I mean, you have to know you, you have to know that these RPO schemes are a big thing in the NFL. Yeah. Arizona is the most is is the most RPO heavy team in the NFL. They have the most RPOs in their playbook. Literally, you can go look and just you can go online and look up their like plays that they run. I think they run the most RPOs in the NFL just because of Kyle Murray's in the back row. He's able to, you know, tug and, and sling it anytime he wants, or he can tug and run it, or he can he can there's so many options that he can do off of it, which yeah. is why they have so many because he's so versatile. AJ Green, you have to know who you have on your team. You have to understand that at any option, you are viable, uh, a viable just option to get the ball. It can even be a it can even be a run call. But I feel like every run call on this offense is a pass option. Yeah. Because what what Kyle Murray is uh, like able to do is yeah. you, you just should know that. And for him just to be so clueless and just not even think that he's going to get the ball. I mean, in this offense, you have to literally expect the ball every play. Because yep. it's possible you could get the ball at any play at any moment in the game. But um I wanna I wanna I wanna give a big up to the Packers defense because they actually played a really, really good game tonight. This is the best the defense has played all year, in my opinion, that I've seen so far. Um I mean you 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 Kyle Murray, granted, I don't think the last touchdown really on him. So even the fact that you were able to get an interception on somebody who's MVP caliber, who's looking like he's gonna win the MVP yep. on a defense that looked horrible all year. He's only been winning games because of Aaron Rodgers being so good with his offense, um, big ups to big up, big ups to his defense, man. I'm, um, Devondre Campbell was well, you could see his presence was uh, definitely there tonight. But I mean, they're still missing so many guys. Just just imagine how good this defense could be with all these guys are back. I mean, it's crazy to think that they were able to stop a six and zero Cardinals team who looked like they're on a roll, and they weren't going to lose the game anytime soon. Mm-hmm. But um, in my defense. I was at work today, you know, I was just messing around, you know, talking to coworkers. I was like, man, I'm putting money on the Packers tonight. I said, Aaron Rodgers doesn't lose in prime time. I don't care who he has. And look what happens. And I didn't guess what, guys. I didn't bet a dime. Oh my gosh. Man. It's the worst, but it's all good. No worries. Um, I'm happy for I'm happy for Green Bay though, because this shows that how good Aaron Rodgers is. And that yeah. I'm sorry. Green Bay, you're gonna miss this when he's gone. I'm sorry. You're definitely gonna miss this when he's gone. So enjoy this last season. Because he's balling out this year. I give it to him. He's doing everything he can to help this team. I mean, this team's seven and one. I mean, easily they should they shouldn't even be seven and one. The way the defense looks, they shouldn't even be, they shouldn't even have this record. So big up to A Rod, big up to Green Bay defense tonight. This is a big win. Yeah. I don't expect this from the Packers defense going forward, even when no, like, even when all. their guys come back. But yeah, they, they did a great job in this game. I'm just so disappointed in the Cardinals as a whole, their defense as well. I mean, I mean, like we were saying, like Aaron Rodgers, all his weapons just fell. They, they all went down before the game. And one went down in the game. And this Arizona secondary and and honestly, and their, their line was just so abused by Aaron Jones and then just a bunch of, you know, Randall Cobb and a bunch of guys. Like that's all it was. Yeah. Um, and I, you know. They should they should be able to do better than this. I know it's Aaron Rodgers. I know it's prime time, but like, man, like the Cardinals defense has been decent up to this point, and yeah, they just yeah. fell apart. I I, w- I would say a, a major thing that I saw tonight was horrible tackling. Yeah. Um, I mean, this AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones just dragging guys four or five yards after getting hit behind the line of scrimmage to get positive yards. I mean, I think I saw a couple times AJ Dillon's getting hit, maybe a yard behind the line of scrimmage, and he ends up falling three four yards forward. And I'm like, come on, you 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 can't stop this guy from driving you forward. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I just don't understand how it's not possible. Um, the one, the one touchdown he had on the goal line, I believe, uh, or not even touchdown. They get the first. There was a, there was a play, fourth and one. Or I think it was not even that. I think it was fourth and one, and they were kind of close to the goal line. Mm-hmm. And Isaiah Simmons literally hits him, or not even Isaiah Simmons. I think Jordan Hicks. Jordan Hicks hits him, maybe two yards behind the line of scrimmage. AJ Dillon literally just throws him off, and just dives forward and gets the first down mm-hmm. and then to speak about the touchdown I'm thinking about Aaron Jones Aaron, Isaiah Simmons lays a boom on Aaron Jones who he towers over easily but he's just getting drive Aaron Jones is just piling his legs and just driving him into the end zone I'm like this is nuts how are you guys not able to tackle these running backs I mean you guys have been great with tackling all year what was what was the disconnect tonight I just don't understand 
Yeah, and I mean, look, the Packers all also almost sold right at the end of the game. Yes, definitely. That um, that was a scary moment in the end zone <laughs> for the Packers. That last drive they had, um, and and their defense as well. They also, you know, that they let up so many big plays right up to that last red zone um, opportunity. You know, they they came up big when it counted, but it's still concerning to just have them march right yeah, down the field, no absolutely. issue at all. And something yeah. else I do want to say is that what this could have won in the game, which is why it's it's so. I feel like this is gonna be talked about a lot. Uh, it, kind of controversial call. I'm not, actually I don't know if it was that controversial. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins had a big hit, a massive touchdown, but he was uh, holding the dude's helmet. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I, I, it's 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 kind of like you could see there there was there was definitely some tugging going back and forth. Yeah. So I I think it definitely should have been you know I I think that would have been a good no call just because of how physical both of them were playing. Yeah. Um. I I see why they you obviously see why they called it. You know they slowed it down. You see his hand is literally, literally he's literally guiding the guy's face face mask or his helmet with his hands. But I mean the guy's also grabbing the back of him and he's holding on to him. He's just playing really rough and physical. So I mean I I think when when it comes to that you got to give the the receiver his his advantage. He can't. He he can only do so much to make himself available to catch the ball, and when mm-hmm. somebody's just draping over him like that, I mean, yeah. I think I think it should have been a no call. But I mean, I, I see why they called it. But it's definitely a big, it's definitely a big controversial call because I don't. Did they, I don't even think they got points off that drive, or did they? Uh, I can't remember. I, I think they. I, honestly, I don't think they did. If they hold them, let's see. Let's see. I can go back. I can go back. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, while you're doing that. Uh, Honestly, Andre Hopkins didn't. He didn't even need to make that. He didn't even need to do that though. Like he did not need to grab his face mask or anything. Okay, they did. They did. They did, they did end up scoring that drive. They did score that drive. Okay. Did. Chase Edmonds. I remember Chase Edmonds got the direct snap and he was right to the end zone. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I thought that was a drive after. Yeah, I thought it was too. But I mean, like at the end of the day, the Andre Hopkins didn't even need to grab that dude at all. He could have just, even if he had just caught it and just fell out of bounds right there, no touchdown. That's like that's like the three yard line. Like you're good. Like you don't need to uh, do all that. And that kind of I feel like that, even though they still scored in that, I feel like it still kind of shifted the momentum. Because if he had made that catch, whole yeah. secondary would open. It up. was yeah. It's, it's just it's it's just so it, it would have been it would have changed the game plan so much because they would have been so worried about the deep threat. Yeah. And then you know once once it, once that huge play gets called back, you know the offense kind of slows down. They're kind of like they're kind of just like you know. Well, I'm, I'm I'm trying to think of the word. The, I'm really really just not even make it more complicated. Just disappointed. Yeah. They're disappointed that they weren't able to get a big play that was just a big momentum shift that could have just they could have skyrocketed for the rest of the game off that one play easily. Knowing how explosive this offense is, it could have just been just a huge blowout possibly because of the way that that that, that play went. But hey, you got to you got to you got to adjust. I always say this. No matter what goes on, if you're the better team, you're a better coach. You always have to adjust. And I'm, I'm sure we'll talk about in the future, are the Cardinals legit or not? This will definitely factor. This loss will definitely factor into it. Oh, big and big, uh, big, big, big. But yeah, th- this is this is going to be interesting to see now because the Cardinals had so much momentum. Can they keep it up through the rest of the season? I don't know. Could this loss be a a, a spiral for them like it was for the Steelers last year? I mean, I think they're better than last year's Steelers team for sure by yes, leaps and absolutely. bounds. But could it have that mental effect? And also, Kyler, uh, he was shaken up at the end of the game. He was hurt. He was playing hurt. Oh. So will that, you know, how will that affect him? Because he, I mean, he was hobbling while he was trying to meet up with, you know, yeah. try to dab everybody up and stuff. Like that. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. Uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say on the matter. Yeah, um... This 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 could be the breaking point for the Cardinals, or next week we could just see them respond with a huge win. Yep. Um, they need to. Yeah, they if if, if they want to keep going, you keep going the way they've been going all season. They have to come back next week with a big win. And I wouldn't even say they need a blowout win. They just need a good solid team win for for next week just to bring the morale back. I think I think the morale might be a little low. Um. Next week DeAndre, they're seeing San Francisco, so that's also a divisional game. That's going to be a heated, that's going to be a heated game. Yeah, so they're definitely winning that game is definitely going to be big for them. So yeah. if they lose back to back, 
we, we could yeah. be seeing that we could be on the way to a downward spiral with this team especially they lose jimmy garoppolo i mean come on yeah. right <laughs> you cannot let jimmy garoppolo cook your secondary you cannot man that's just ridiculous. what i can't i can't believe they well i don't i don't want to talk about it now it's just all right all right well thank you all for watching this was be true sports i've been burt hey we'll catch you guys next time thank you for watching like subscribe share do all that good stuff comment what do you think about all the stuff we're talking about we'll catch you guys next time thank you for watching see you